Hi everybody, today I am doing a user requested review of my Pulip uh, Typhona. Typhona? Let's go with Typhona. Uh, she is a doll that uh, was released in 2010 and I got her from PulipStyle.com. Um, what I've noticed is uh, she goes for, the last I checked, like 120 and I think some of the dolls that were released a few years ago you know the prices kind of drop depending on popularity so I guess that's just an indication to me that she is pretty popular and I think you can see why she's so adorable uh, so what I'll do is I'll talk about her stock and then I'll talk about the doll and the wig and the face and all that uh, so I'll start at the top with her uh, her headband this um, it is green, it's got a floral pattern and some lace, and it is kind of a two-layer two number. So there's a ribbon on the bottom covered in lace and then a, a top ribbon. Pretty sturdy. It has the metal in it so you can adjust it, and it is one of those infamous headbands that falls off their head really easily, like if you barely move them. But it is super cute on. She also comes with this really cute little brown faux leather handbag with the ribbon on the front and there is a snap open and closed so it is a functional bag. Her outfit. She's got kind of this country Alice in Wonderland thing going on. Uh, the color palette is green, off-white, creams, pearls, lace, that kind of um, look to it. Um, this is a one-piece number even though it looks like you can kind of take it off, it's attached by string. But it's a sturdier fabric. Uh, it almost feels like canvas, but it's a really, really cute dress. You can see the lace along the sides of the dress, the ribbons out front. She's got this little choker up top ribbon and then some of the really cool detail are like the little pearl beads um, going up to her neck there and I think under the dress let me just check here yeah she actually I won't take it off but the blouse is actually separate uh, one of the, my favorite things about this dress actually is the back which I just, just love, and it's this little um, corset tie-up number in the back. I just think that's really super cute. And underneath her dress, she has, you can see there's like another layer of the poof to give her some volume, but she has these really cute matching undies, and um, her Stockings are actually one of the things that really drew me into her. They are striped green and white. They go past her knees. And on the back, you'll see that the pattern is actually bows. And then finally, her little shoes. They do stay on really well. They are brown and they look like little Mary Janes. Super cute. I should tell you that the bottoms of these um, stockings actually have a, almost like a rubbery feel to them. I thought that was a little bit different, but really, really well made. Okay, um, as for the doll, I think the first thing you notice is her glorious blonde hair. So when I got her in the mail, I was a little disappointed. You know, when you get a pull-up doll, their hair is really tied uh, close with the uh, plastic. And I just thought she was a little bit dull, you know. But as soon as I got her out of the box and took that plastic off and all this, like, crazy 80s era Daryl Hannah thing going on, I just thought it was so pretty. It's incredibly thick, actually very soft, and really keeps its wavy shape. And it is like a corn silk blonde. I mean, it's a really, really beautiful wig. And then her face. 
Also very pretty and very subtle. It matches her whole look. Uh, she has pink around her eyes and very kind of pink peach uh, eye color and lip color. It's pretty natural. And then her eye chips are a really lovely green. And her eyelids are just the natural color with a kind of a brown eyeliner. Um, I can absolutely see why this doll is popular and I'm super glad I got her because you know it's whenever you're trying to choose which pull up to get you know they're kind of pricey and I can't recommend this one enough she just she always stands out on a shelf uh, she also looks great next to a lot of similar dolls you know uh, pull up has all of these like Alice in Wonderland dolls and she really kind of holds her own so I would absolutely recommend her, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.